Hey little bugs, I know it's been a while, but I'm back. Hopefully for good. I've just been using this time to just reflect on a lot of things and you know, come up with solutions and uh, just work on myself, become a better me for me. Um, and this leads to my topic today. And something that I've been learning um, over this quarantine time is to stop caring about what people want you to be and start being what God wants you to be. And this is a topic that's really dear to me because sometimes in life, you know, we can kind of like look at society and we see like a lot of people becoming like lawyers and doctors and stuff. And we, we try to fit into that, but God is saying, no, I want you to be better than that. I want you to have something inside of you that I want you to, you know, do. And a lot of times, you know, we try to like fit in with everybody else. We try to like do what other people want us to do. We try to live our lives to please society. And God is saying, no, it's time for you to stop hiding who I called you to be so that you can fit in with everybody else wants you to be. And that's something that he's talking to me about because like, um, you know, as a saved Christian, you know, sometimes it's hard for us, you know, to like really really be the full potential that God wants us to be but God is saying you got to stop being scared you got to stop being scared of what people will say so what they're going to talk about you they talked about Jesus on the cross they talked about him they they said all type of lies about him they said all these things like to hurt him to like damage his name and everything but you got to know who God called you to be so if you have a book that you want to put out put out put the book out don't let your family don't let friends stop you from being who God called you to be when you leave this world, you want to have something that's, that you're proud of. You want to have something that you know you know that you changed lives. You know that you inspired people. You know that your life was, um, you know, like a life that people looked up to. You want to be a role model. You don't want to leave here and then, you know, think about your life and be like, okay, what have I done for people? Because sometimes we can try to please people the wrong way. You know, sometimes people need us to inspire them. Sometimes people need us to uplift them. And a lot of times, you know, we will try to like fit in and maybe, you know, we might try to start like a business that we're really not passionate about. We may try to start like, you know, other stuff we're not really passionate about, but because it'll make us money, we try to start it. And we wonder why it falls down. We wonder why certain things we do in life, you know, it doesn't go as we want it to go. And God is just saying, I want you to stop trying to please people. Stop trying to please your family. Stop trying to please your mother and your father. Stop trying to please your friends. Stop trying to please this world and try to please God. Because once you try to please God, that's when you find your purpose. Once you try to please God, that's when you find everything that he has planned for you since the foundation of the world. That's when everything you know that you wanted in your life, everything that you dreamed about, that's when everything starts happening. When you start trusting God and you start believing what he could do in your life. But a lot of times, you know, we hide who we are. We hide who God called us to be. To to fit in but God is saying no don't try to fit in when you fit when you try to fit in that's when you lose your purpose when you try to fit in that's when you lose what God is trying to take you to and, and, and sometimes we have to get away from negative people and that's I believe that's why God has us in the quarantine because like he wants us to like you know focus on him again because uh, our lives was really busy lives you know we were rushed through lives um, me I went to college a uh, full time so I was like spending a lot of time in college and a lot of times you don't have as much time to pray but God is sitting us all down and saying you know read the Bible pray more you know get in my word more and and this is he wants to reveal to us himself and I just feel like God is using this you know for his for his glory God is using this whole situation God is using the coronavirus in the world to really bring us closer to him and to realize you know that time is winding up that Jesus is soon to come and I just feel like every day since this quarantine I just been thinking about life like you know like I just been thinking like you know it's more to my life than that it's more to my life than just trying to like you know it's more to my life than just money. It's more to my life to just like materialistic things. Like God really has something bigger in my life. You know that like, and I just feel like I really want to inspire people. I want people to grow. I want to be a person not that's not just remembered for like, you know, just doing what other people want her to do. I just want to be remembered for doing what God wants me to do. And never mind who thinks a certain way about me. I can't tell you how many times as a kid I was talked about because just because I was a Christian and like and it came a certain point in my life where I just got you know like 
I just it came a point in my life where I just stopped thinking about what people say about me. I'm just like, I gotta be who God called me to be. Cause like when you suppress yourself, that's when you lose yourself. When you suppress who God called you to be, that's when you lose yourself. And the worst thing in the world that you could do is lose yourself. It's okay to lose money. It's okay to lose materialistic, temporary things, but it's a totally different thing to lose yourself. So if you're watching this video right now, I don't want you to lose yourself. I don't want you to give up on that dream that you've been praying about. I don't want you to give up on that goal that you've been praying about. I don't want you to give up on that business that you've been praying about. I don't want you to give up on your goals. What is your heart saying today that you really want to do? Do not let people silence you. Because I spent years of my life worrying about what people said about me. I spent years of my life worrying about, oh, what my family going to think about this? What my family, what, what my friends going to think about this? and not letting God use me to the full potential. Don't do not do that. So I learned my lesson and I just feel like when you be who God called you to be, he'll open doors for you. He'll, he'll make ways for you. He'll make ways that you never even thought were possible. So I wanna pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray God that you're a blessed who's ever watching this video. I pray this video touched them in some type of way, God. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you will help them to go out and be who you called them to be. Lord God, touch them right now from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet right now. God, touch them, Lord God, liberate them, Lord God, save them, Lord God, set them free, Lord, deliver them lord god from whatever they need deliverance from i pray in the name of jesus god that you will give them a peace of mind lord god even with whatever's going on in the world god give them peace of mind god lord god i pray in the name of jesus god that you will give them faith lord god instead of fear lord god help them to not operate in fear lord god i pray in the mighty name of jesus god that you will lord god touch their lives lord god save their lives lord god help them lord god to be who you called them to be help them to not worry about what people think about them god help them to know god that that you're there for them help them to know god that you love them right now lord god i pray god that this video be a virtual hug to them god people that are feeling lonely people that are feeling rejected people that are feeling isolated right now in the name of jesus god the world needs you right now lord god and we need lord god to stand up lord god as christians lord god to let people know god that god loves them that god is able lord god to do whatever lord god that they need you to do lord god and we thank you right now god we thank you lord for your mercy we thank you for your grace we thank you for your favor god that you have for us we thank you lord god for our lives for being alive lord god lord god we thank you lord god for keeping us and our families god we thank you lord god for keeping the world lord god go to the hospitals right now god go to lord god the people lord god that are at homeless shelters lord god lord god i pray god that you will bless lord god everybody in the world in the name of jesus god and i pray god that you will bring us all together god that you will lord god get the glory out of this situation god and that you will see fit lord God to bless us in Jesus name we pray amen so I just want you guys to be blessed today I want you guys to know that you know God is with you and that God is with us and that God has us in the palm of his hands and and every day you know I wake up I thank God for another day every day every day I wake up I thank God you know for allowing me to see another day for blessing my family for putting food on the table putting clothes on my back because I know that he didn't have to do it but he did and every day I wake up and I just think like you know God has been so good to me and I just pray that God continues to be good to you guys and continue to bless you guys and and I just so glad I made this video because a lot of like I spent years of my life you know stopping like my purpose because I was just you know like as a kid like I was just scared you know like oh what would people think about me? you know like that but like I just want you to not be afraid whatever God called you to do do it boldly do it not unto others but do it unto God and you know he will reward you you know and he will keep you and and I don't want you guys to feel like, you know, you can't start that business. And another thing is, don't feel like you can't start the business. Don't feel like you can't write the book. Don't feel like you can't do whatever, like, your passion is because of what other people think. And don't, don't think that, you know, like, just because it didn't happen yet, that it won't happen at all. Just know that it's right around the corner. But just stop worrying about what people think about you. Um... And, you know, God will, you know, make a way for you. And I wrote some notes down, but it's kind of hard to follow them. Because um, there's so, so much written down. But just live your life. Um, and don't, don't worry about who rejected you. 
And another thing is, if somebody rejected you, that was God protecting you. If somebody walked out of your life, that was God protecting you from the wrong person. Just thank God that he protected you from the wrong from the wrong person. Thank God that he didn't allow that person to stay in your life. If somebody left you, then you know, just know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. So if God will never leave you nor forsake you, then that person was not sent in your life by God because God will never leave you nor forsake you. God is love. So just know that if you're dealing with um, feelings of loneliness, or rejection, whatever you're going through right now, just know that it's going to be all right. It just know, you know that it's going to be all right. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a blessed day today. And bye. See you in my next video. Share this with your friends. Share this with your friends, honey. Yes, honey. Bye.